What's up, YouTubers? Jollibee here, and welcome to another episode of Worm Tutorial. And for this tutorial, we're going to be doing a quick lessons on terraforming and digging. So let's say you found a perfect area that you want to settle in, but the land is, is slope or eh, or uneven. In order to build a house, you would want it to be in a flat area so that you can make you can build a second floor or higher. As with the new worm 1.1, a house cannot have a second floor if the tiles are not flat. So the tool you need for this tutorial is your starter shovel. So double click the shovel to activate it. So to know if a tile is flat, you need to examine the tile border. In the very beginning, it's the only way for you to find out if the tile is flat. So with the tile border, you right click, examine, it will say the slope is level. You want the slope is level on all four tile borders surrounding a tile. A quick way to examine something is by double clicking. So if you double click the tile border, it will say the slope is level. So I'm going to do this to all the other three tile borders. See it's level, level, and level. So I know that these tiles, this tile is flat. And to know that it's flat when I'm digging somewhere else, I decided to pack it so it looks different compared to the uneven tiles. So as you already noticed, I already flattened a 3x3 three three area. So let's just flatten 3 more tiles for you guys. As you can see, this tile is higher compared to the one I'm standing, the flat tile. So I'm going to go in this tile, stand in one corner, examine this tile border, and it says that it's nine dirt steep away from me. So that means that this tile, this corner I'm standing is has a height of nine compared to the flat tile down there. So, so in order for me to make this the slope level, I would ne need to dig nine dirt. So I'm just gonna dig nine dirt here. I'm gonna queue up three actions. And we'll be on our merry way. So we'll drink some water after. Also, your digging skill determines your max slope you can dig into. So let's say you, I have a digging of 7.7. .7. The digging, the max slope I can go is three times my digging skill. So let's just say I have eight. I can go up to 24 slope and still be able to dig. But if the slope is 25, which is more than three times my digging, I will not be able to dig. And I would either need to get a higher skill or I would need to raise the bottom slope to the preferred slope level that I can dig to. So I have three dirts in my inventory. So let's see which of these three tiles need dirt. So these three tiles are not flat. So let's examine this tile. The slope is level. The slope is level. It's level. And this is level. So that means this tile is already flat. So let me pack it. Just wait for this to pack. So I'm only down to two tiles left. So it's just for the later, f in case I want to uh, expand my flattened area, I'm just going to go down this little hill. As you examine, that it's slower compared to the flat tile I just did. So I'm going to examine this, 13 deeds towards you. So that means I need to drop 13 dirt to make the slope level to that flat tile. So I'm just going to drop 3 dirts here. and keep on digging over here. Three more dirt. 
And also, higher digging skill and, sho and shovel skill will also make your dig faster and later on. So, so if you want to dig and transform the land a lot, you would need a pretty much a, a high digging skill. Especially when you're selling near mountains. Just get three dirts here. And get on our merry way. Also, once you get a f uh, level 15 on your digging, you will no longer need to double click to examine the tile borders. All you would have to do is hover over it and it'll tell you the slope from where you're standing to save you the headaches of double clicking on everything. So pretty much in war if you want to examine something you just double click and it'll tell you the information on your event window. Also, do keep an eye on your shovel as each time you use a shovel, the damage will increase. And once the damage reach 100, that tool is gone and, and is destroyed and you would need to make a new one. So, let's just get the last two dirts. Oh, I'm out of stamina. So, let's just cancel. Drink some water. Get our water bar up. And we'll regen stamina faster. One more dirt. That slope is level. Let's see how much five dirt. So let's just get two more dirt and we'll drop it elsewhere. Digging and flattening is pretty easy and warm, but it may seem daunting at first. But once you know how to read the slope, and how much dirt you need to dig and drop to flatten an area, it's not that bad. But it is time consuming. So I will give you a heads up now. You need to flatten a huge area and they're mostly uneven. You will need to do a lot of digging and that requires time. Every ring worm requires time anyway, so you shouldn't be rushing things. It takes time to grow. It takes time to grow crops. It takes time to get your skills up. So you would need a lot of patience. As you can see here, I dug too much dirt, and now I'm carrying too much that my guy is walking in a crawl. Come on, guy. Almost there. One more time. Come on. We're not that far. You're almost reaching there. But that's pretty much how you flatten an area. And from what you see, uh, as you have a flat tile, I would recommend packing the dirt so you know that that tile is flat and then you can move on to the next tile. Later on though, once you get pretty developed, you may want to invest, invest on a better quality shovel or, or or even an enchanted shovel. Enchanted shovel will give you extra skill gains or faster timer for your actions. So three dirts here. And I think once I dig three dirts, both these tiles will be flat. And we would have three extra tiles that are now flattened and ready to be 
sell it upon by either building a house or an enclosure. So let's just get this last action in. So every time you want to build a house, you would need to flatten the area. So keep that in mind. So let's just do one last examination here. Flat, so let's pack it. Pack the dirt. Later on, I will show you how to find and prospect your first iron ore or ma and how to harvest iron to create tools and materials for making yourself better tools and able to, and also nails to make yourself your first home your first wooden home so tune in on my next episode on how to prospect iron if you see what you if you like what you see, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to see future tutorials later on, leave a comment and to see which part of the tutorial you want to see a video made by me. Alright.